Hey guys, what's up? It's Legionary Gaming. Get ahead on the tutorial for you guys. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to make an automatic shirt game farm. Now my design is based off of Green Guitar Guy Games, whose design was based off of Momo Jumbos. But his was very small, as you can see right there. His uh, max only about like four or five blocks, and I've made a really big one, as you can see here, which produces a lot more shirt game, as you can see. So basically, today I'll be showing you guys how to make this bigger one. And as you can see, sometimes it, like all the sugar cane doesn't go into the water, which is a problem, but it can be fixed. All right, for this tutorial, you'll need two redstone repeaters, two redstone comparators, redstone depending on the size of your sugar cane farm. The same as the piston, and a random amount of sand, two furnaces, and any type of building block, and plain uh, glass planes or fences, and of course sugar cane and water buckets. All right, so I already have my sand. Um, set up now. I just need to make a little area so that the water doesn't flow out. So I'll make here now. Of course, you want to make this so it doesn't flow. Um, I think you can't, I think you probably could make this near a river or something like that in the survival world if you don't want to make it somewhere else. But yeah, I prefer making it on land somewhere else other than a river. All right, let's just fill this up. Alright, now once we have that, you want to build up three blocks from here. Alright, sorry about that. Three blocks, and do the same with the other side. Now you want to make a little area over here and just block it all off the first layer. And then you want to leave the second layer, and then you want to actually don't do anything. Now go over here and make the roof to it. Um, Alright, it's going to take some time. Alright, they're nearly done. Alright, there. Now what you want to do is you want to go back to the other side and grab your pistons and place them all along here. Just spam them on. Now I know pistons are quite expensive to make, but you can't make them with anything else. Uh, at least I don't know if you can, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Then what you want to do is you want to place your sugar cane, and right after this we'll get to the redstone. Alright, so right after that... What you want to do is you want to place a piston right here facing up and put a sand block on it and place a furnace right there. And then you want to get a block, place it next to the piston and one over here and place it out twice and place one there. And then you want to place one comparator facing that way. Two redstone. Your repeater going that way and redstone all along that edge. There's a limit of how big this farm can be. It can be as big as uh, the signal can go. Uh, so if you have two redstone sources, it'll probably be like around 30, um, 20 or 30 something blocks. Keep that in mind. And do the same on this side. Please compare to there. Two pieces of redstone. Oops, I missed a part there. Now which one do you want to place? 14 blocks or it can be anything in the furnace you don't need any more than 14 it just powers up the redstone and the same over here all right after that you're pretty much done now I'll demonstrate what it can do and now look you place a sugarcane on top of that it will automatically break when well, you couldn't see it there okay my redstone my pistons are glitching all right there you saw right there. Now all you want to do, as you can see, sometimes it lands in here or flows out all the way over here, which I haven't really shown, but you've seen in this one. So what you want to do is you want to grab glass planes and place them along here to prevent that from happening. Right, I'm not gonna do it, but you guys get the idea. Just place glass planes along there, or you can place fences. Other than that, it's a really easy tutorial. You can do it in Survivor World. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention. You can make the water leading all into one hopper instead of placing hoppers all along here, which I didn't really mention, but you could do that. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.